Hello, I'm Kay and I'm back with a big review today. It is for the Taylor by Noriko in Sugarcane R. So stay tuned. So let's start with the color, which is Sugarcane R. So again, the R stands for rooted. It is a medium warm blonde and it has some bolder blonde highlights through it. But what you also have is some medium auburn low lights that add some warmth to it. And the roots are throughout, which adds to the realism, I would say. It is a really nice color. It is a lovely blonde that looks really quite natural. Quite a few dimensions there. I think you can see the low lights as well as those blonde highlights there. So the color is just gorgeous. So let's have a look at the cap construction. You've got your lace front and then you have your mono part. It's, for some reason, I find that this lace front stops where the part stops. I haven't come across this before. And I don't know if that's something I like. It, it, it just looks a bit abrupt to me there. So just as a word of warning, if you don't mind that, probably with that style, it doesn't really matter either. But for me, it was a bit, ooh. I'm not sure I like that. So you have your rectic cap, you have your velvet nape, and you have these um, bra straps, adjusters, probably a better name for it, but that's what I call them. Um, so you pull on them rather than stick them on as you have with the Velcro. So yeah, that's the, your cap construction. I'm going to put her on. And here is the tailor on. So you've got an A-line bob, very short at the nape and then it comes down at an angle like this so it is very modern and very striking cut so let's look at the lace front it's it's an okay lace front i'm I don't think it's the worst i've seen i don't think it's the best i've seen and here the very abrupt stop there so this side you can really just have hang down which I guess with that style that's what they're going for but if you're an ear tucker I don't know if that would look right maybe maybe not um, the part is nice I think that's well done um, let's look at her from all sides so the front my left side my right hand side and the back so yeah there she is from all sides so what do i think of her um i love seeing her on other people i think it's striking it is such a bold cut. Maybe that's what it is. I didn't fall in love with her at all. I don't know what it is. I still can't put my finger on. I might be that for me, I think. It seems like a lot of hair for this haircut. It seems too full when you have it on. On camera, I don't think it comes across as that. But to me, it just seems too bulgy and I don't think therefore it moves as much and or as well as it could so I think therefore yeah I just haven't quite I don't quite feel it with this one even though I can see it on other people and it looks absolutely stunning and I think yeah I want what I want to look like this but I'm not sure you have styling options with her 
And I think if I put her off my face like that, I might, I might like her a little bit more. I think that's always cute. Um, she is ear tuckable, but because there is so much hair, it, it's hard to <laughs> to really tuck her behind without the ear coming out. Yeah, quite a bit. But I think that looks really cute. I, I'm an ear tucker, so I I love to be able to tuck it easily rather than spending hours trying to get it behind that ear and staying there. So, and on this side, as I said, because of the very abrupt stop to the lace front, you have to really then cover it, making sure that you can't see it. So yeah, you have those styling options. Probably can put it up like that as well, which might be cute too. So there is a lot you can do and she is very handy because you have that shorter neck or nape and therefore it doesn't really wrap on clothes, etc. So she will last you quite a much longer than one that sits lower. So there are a lot of pros and cons to her for me personally. Um, I mean, I can always try and go, you know, get it cut so it's not quite as angled. Maybe that might help the style for me on me as well. But yeah, that's my opinion on her. So if you wondered what the wig was I was wearing at the beginning, that is the Caliente wig by Beltres. And I did a review on her as well. So I will put that in the description box, that link to that review, if you want to have a look at that as well. But otherwise, like and subscribe and I see you soon. Bye.